Jeffree Star blasts James Charles and Toddy Westbrook for what? Even if you don't keep up with the drama in the beauty industry, you've probably heard about the scandal involving beauty bloggers Toddy Westbrook and James Charles. Westbrook released a YouTube video in 2019 accusing Charles of betraying her by promoting vitamins from her biggest competitors. He was also accused of sexual predatory behavior towards several heterosexual men according to her. On top of that, Jeffree Star slams James Charles and his brother Ian Jeffrey on Twitter. In a series of now-deleted tweets, Jeffrey bashed James, claiming that his now ex-boyfriend Nathan banned the YouTuber from visiting their home. He wrote, There is a reason that Nathan banned James Charles from ever coming over to our home again. He then added, There's a reason why I haven't seen him since at Glam Life Guru's birthday in February. He's a danger to society. Everything Toddy said is 100% true. After this exchange, Jeffrey reportedly moved on to slam James's brother Ian, when Ian tweeted, Why does everyone act so tough over the internet? Jeffrey responded with some serious heed. Why is your brother a predator? Why'd you really move back to NYC? Exactly. Shut the fuck up. James then posted a video called No More Lies, jam-packed with receipts. The texts and messages he shared seemingly exonerated him from the accusations leveled in Taddy's Bi Sister video. Following the vid, Jeffrey posted an apology video called Never Doing This Again. In it, he apologized for getting involved in the situation, admitting that the horrific accusations he made against James were based on rumors. Jeffrey said there's a big part of the story that I don't think a lot of people know, and that's behind the scenes. There were a lot of people in my head. There were people telling me a lot of stuff, and I don't mean my own friends. I mean people that had known James. They were telling me things that was making me feel a whole other way. Star then added, Should I have let people get into my head and sway my opinion about someone? No. That's my problem, and I have to deal with that. Weeks passed while beauty heavyweights such as Nikita Dragon and Jeffree Star weighed in. The drama resurfaced in June 2020 when YouTuber Shane Dawson addressed a controversy in an essay titled Welcome to the Circus, claiming he was aware of the feud but did not orchestrate it. Dawson has since deleted the essay and faced backlash for sexualizing an 11-year-old Willow Smith and wearing blackface. Westbrook posted a 40-minute tell-all video on YouTube in 2020, explaining why she posted the video that started it all. She makes several shocking statements about Dawson, Star, and others in it. Westbrook begins the video by stating that she will be providing answers and a long-overdue apology for her role in the 2019 scandal. In 2019, she released a video by Sister in which she announced the end of her relationship with Charles. She now claims that she was used, coerced, and manipulated into making the 2019 video by Star and Dawson. She said, I did not make my video because of vitamins. I made it as a result of all the poisonous lies that were fed to me by Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. She then claimed that making that video was the biggest regret of her life. Westbrook had known Star and hoped to get him involved in her charity, Spirit Awakening. She thought she could be a good example to Star, who was atoning for his mistakes and professed regret for racism in previous scandals. However, Westbrook claims that in 2019, Star began talking nonstop about James Charles, and not in a nice way. She said, It seemed that doing so had become his biggest obsession. It started with him telling me right before our filming collab together for James Charles' channel that James Charles actually didn't want me there. That he had wanted Nikki tutorials instead, but Jeffrey said he had my back. Taddy also shared that met YouTuber Shane Dawson, who was working on a docu-series with Jeffree Star. The Beautiful World of Jeffree Star is set to premiere in late 2019. Dawson invited Westbrook to participate. Initially, Dawson told Westbrook that part of the documentary would focus on the allegations about Charles. She said, Shane said that James Charles was a monster and that James Charles was hurting minors. Shane said that he was planning to interview victims for the docu-series. He told me that something needed to be done to stop him from hurting more people. Dawson has slowly but steadily returned to content creation, while Star has relocated to Wyoming to start his very own Yak Ranch. Star was on Logan Paul's Impulsive podcast on June 14th to discuss his current endeavors when the crew asked him why he's been uploading less content on YouTube. Star cited the drama with the beauty community as the reason for him distancing himself from the scene, referencing the issue with Tati as part of his withdrawal. Star said, I think beauty overall on YouTube is kinda dead. He then added, All the drama, all the craziness, all the personalities, it got so unfun. So f***ing toxic, so dark and ugly. He then added, All those people were awful. They wanted to villainize me, cause me and Shane were the most successful. We had the biggest launch in makeup history. It was so cool. And people got mad at how successful we got. Paul did mention the James and Tati stuff from 2019, which Star answered ruined the beauty community. 
Star said of the fallout, that was an atom bomb. He then added it was really crazy.